ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Flanders here, and we are looking at Worksheet 47, Side 1. This is the follow-up to our story from this morning, uh, or rather the sight words that we read this morning, because that's all we really practice, I believe. Um, so it should be a pretty easy worksheet today. We've got a couple stories we're going to read on it, and then um, just a couple of sentences that we're reading and following the directions for, okay? Okay. Make sure you write your name at the top of the paper, okay? And uh, I'm not going to give you guys the answers. Instead, the expectation is you guys are circling the correct answers and then you will be writing them on these lines. All right, I've seen a lot of my friends at home doing really good work uh, on their own. They just need to read one or two sentences. And I want to keep up with that trend. I want to see you guys think. I don't want to just see you guys copying the work that I'm doing. Okay? With that being said, let's move on to our first story. It says, Jane said, I will kick the ball far. Tim said, I will hold the ball for you. Jane kicked the ball. She kicked the ball very far. So one more time. Jane said, I will kick the ball far. Tim said, I will hold the ball for you. Jane kicked the ball, and she kicked the ball very far. Question number one. What did Jane want to kick? The ball, the boy, or the boat? Think about that for a second, my friends. What did Jane want to kick? The ball, the boy, or the boat? Please circle the correct answer and write it on this line. Okay? In just a moment, I will be moving on, but if you need extra time, please don't hesitate to pause the video and pick it back up, okay? That's the great thing about videos. You can rewind them, you can fast forward them. It's entirely up to you, all right? I want you working at your pace. So just think about that. What did Jane want to kick? The ball, the boy, or the boat? Number two. What did Tim hold? The boat, the boy, or the ball? What did Tim hold? The boat, the boy, or the ball? Okay. Think about it for a second. Make sure you're circling the answer and writing it down. Number three. What did Jane kick? The toy? the boy, or the ball. What did Jane kick? The toy, the boy, or the ball? And when my friends are finishing that up, I'm going to move this up just a little bit. Remember, if you need to, pause the video. But we are going to go ahead and move on to the second story on our worksheet. And this story is about a girl. I know that because it starts with a girl. 
Let's go ahead and take a look at her story. It's all blurry. Hang on one second, guys. Focus. There we go. A girl went out for the running team. The boys on the team said that girl thinks she can run fast. The girl ran faster than the boys. Then she said, ho, 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 ho. Pretty cool. I'll read it one more time. A girl went out for the running team. The boys on the team said that girl thinks she can run fast. The girl ran faster than the boys. Then she said, ho, ho. Very good story. Very good. Let's look at question number one for our story. It says, the girl went out for the running blank. Did she go out for the running nose, running fast, or running team? Think about what the question is asking. The girl went out for the running blank. The running nose, she went out for the running fast, or she went out for the running team. Take a second, circle the correct answer, and write it down. Number two, did the boys think she could run fast? Yes or no? Did the boys think she could run fast? Yes or no? Circle which choice you think is correct and write it down. Number three, who ran faster, the boys, the girl, or the team? Who ran faster, the boys, the girl, or the team? Circle the answer and write it on this line. And then number four, what did the girl say after she ran? He he, ha ha, or ho ho. What did the girl say after she ran? He he, ha ha, or ho ho. Circle the answer and write it down. And while you guys are doing that, I'm going to go ahead and take the paper and flip it over. We're now on side two. And these should be pretty quick sentences we need to read. Pretty quick directions. So what I want my friends to do at home is not only am I going to read the sentence to you right now, but I also want you to practice reading the sentence on your own. And it says, read this sentence. The first sentence says, the dog was fat. The dog was fat. Your first job with this sentence is to circle the word was. Circle the word was. 
And then you need to make a line over the word the. Make a line over the word the. Okay, pretty easy stuff. It's a really easy sentence. Circle the word was, make a line over the word the. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. If you need to, pause the video so you can see the sentence. You should have it in front of you though. But I am going to scoot it up. Boop. Here is our second sentence. And it says, a fish ate a ball. A fish ate a ball. Your first job for the sentence is to make a line over the word fish. Find the word fish in the sentence and make a line over it. Make a line over the word fish. Your second job is going to be to circle the word ball. Circle the word ball. So just to recap, my friends, the sentence says a fish ate a ball. You're going to make a line over the word fish and then circle the word ball. Pretty easy. Let's move on to our last sentence. It says a girl had a red hat. A girl had a red hat. Your job is going to be to make a line over the word red. Make a line over the word red. And then what I would like you to do is circle the word girl. Circle the word girl. The sentence says a girl had a red hat. You are going to make a line over the word red and then circle the word girl. Pretty easy stuff, my friends. Pretty easy stuff. That is going to be the end of our reading lesson for today. Um, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns about the work, please don't hesitate to have your parents reach out to me on Class Dojo. Um, but I think this was one of our pretty, pretty. E I think this was one of our easier worksheets, um, especially since we didn't really have much of a story to go over today. It was more so just those sight words. Um, really good work this week, though, though, guys. I really do appreciate what I'm seeing. I really enjoy how everybody's been engaging on uh, on Zoom and in class. Uh, so with that out of the way and all that said, I'm going to get going. You guys have fun. Make sure all of your work is done. After that, go and enjoy your weekend. You have earned it. I will catch up with you guys later. Take it easy.